The next thing we want to consider is the hidden configuration options that are buried deep within the system. We have some very well-known configuration options that we use all the time. For example, we set our system values to set the major controlling values on the system. We set our user profile settings correctly, including special authorities like does a user have job control or all object authority? Do they have safe system authority or service or any of the other special authorities? Those are the major well-known configuration options. We also set the authority and permissions on objects and on the IFS directory and document library objects as we need Needed. We also configure exit programs as needed. I mean, all of these are very well-known options that we can use to configure the system and the security of the system. The hidden configuration options. Consider this possibility. Allow a user with job control special authority to access the job log of an all object user job. That is one of the critical issues that people run into all the time is that I have an operator and the operator needs to go and troubleshoot what's going on with this job that is running and it has blown up but we can't look at the job log of this active job so we can't troubleshoot why the, the program has blown up. There is a hidden configuration option that you can use that says if a user has job control special authority, the user can access the job log of an all object user job. But without this hidden configuration object, you will find that a user has to have all object authority in order to access the job log of an all object user. You can also allow a user that does not have service special authority to run a trace, a communication trace or other service trace. Where do you find that hidden option? I mean, it must be somewhere. It's not in the authority to the commands themselves. It's hidden somewhere else. You can prohibit a user from downloading a file using FTP or client access file transfer. You can prohibit a user from using the Excel add-in upload or download a file option. Where are these hidden configuration options? They must be someplace, and the answer is yes, they are. These hidden options, and I, and I call them hidden because IBM doesn't talk about them, and uh, it's just not something that we hear much about. There's a command called work with function usage, or display function usage, that allows you to set these hidden functions and these hidden configuration options. Inside of IBM I Navigator for Windows, there is a much nicer interface to the function usage and that is a application called application administration and using these functions you can set those hidden configuration options to be suitable for your own system if you use the command work with function usage this is the first display that you see and one of the options here is access the job log of an all object job and this allows you to change the settings for this particular thing. There's another one down here listed in yellow that allows a user to do a service trace and if they don't have service special authority determines whether they can do a service trace or not. We have many many other options in here like uh, disk watcher or cluster management or watch any job just on the screen here there are several dozen of these different functions that are hidden away from other public use that you can get to through function usage or through application administration. Application administration, you right click on the system name in Operations Navigator and you get an option for application administration. Right click on the system name and select application administration and that takes you to the graphical interface for function usage or application administration. And here you can pick the client applications or the host applications and here we see a couple of the options are access the job log of an all object job that's one that I have customized and so there's an X next to the customized access piece you can see that we have the all object access button selected and that says if you have all object authority then you can access the job log of an all object user we also see that the service trace also has customized access so we've set customized access for these two hidden configuration options and if I look down further when I select the option to customize the access job log of all object jobs here I can select users that I want to allow or I can select groups that I want to allow. In this case what I've done is I've selected the group called Group Ops which is my operations group and says that they have allowed 
access that if they have job control they don't need all object special authority in order to access the job log of an all object user. I can add users to the white list or the black list. We have the uh, access allowed or access denied. You can also set public authority or the default access that says the default access to this function uh, is that any user with job control authority can access this. So we select the options and the users and we specify that they are allowed to use this or they are denied access to use this. There are several other functions. Again, some of the functions allow us to specify that we want to allow the user to be able to download files with Client Access Excel add-in. Now, if Client Access Excel add-in is installed on your PC and we have the default access turned on in application administration for that function, then you can use the Excel download. If we have individual users that can use it and individual users that can't use it, then we set those rules using the same type of interface that we see here on the screen. Now, it's important to understand that when you set these client functions, like the Excel add-in or the client access file transfer upload download, things like that, that those are actually settings that are stored in the Windows registry and actually, if you edit the registry, you can modify those. But the ones that have to deal with the host functions, like the FTP server, those are handled at the host level and those can effectively control who can upload or download files using FTP.